So the Blackmagic Design development team have done it again. We've got another fantastic update to DaVinci Resolve, full of exciting new features. I'm gonna show you as many of them as I can over the next few weeks. So I just wanna tell you that I'm actually going out to NAB this year as well. So I'm gonna be in Vegas. I'm gonna be checking out, obviously, the Blackmagic Design Stand, having a look at all the new stuff for DaVinci Resolve and all their new products. And I'm gonna look at some other stands as well. And I'm gonna try and get as many YouTube episodes out as I can literally from my hotel room. So worth subscribing and hitting notifications now because I'm gonna be giving you as much sort of up-to-date news as I possibly can from the show. Loads of fantastic new features. Let's have a quick look at one of them. A few up here, I've just highlighted a few. So there's beauty tools been enhanced. We've got a new fast noise feature. There is this surface tracker, which I can't wait to play with. There are a ton of new things, but one thing that really caught my eye is this new proxy generator. So down here, I can launch the proxy generator itself. So this could obviously sit on a separate machine. This is a standalone app. So when it opens up, it's gonna ask me to dedicate a watch folder. So I'm gonna click on here. And I've got this one here called Evening Wear. This has got all my rushes in it. So I'm gonna highlight that. Or I could move them into this media folder. For example, you could have a dedicated folder that you want just to generate proxies in. So I'm gonna click on this one. Let's say open. That is now a watch folder in there. It's not doing anything yet. I've got to tell it to start, but it's gonna transcode everything into H264 8-bit 420. So let's press start. That's a background process. So I can just carry on working on my program. You can see it's moving along up there. I'm gonna to go to my edit page, carry on working in here. And that's still cruising through, but what I can do is go up to here, click on my playback, and we've got a new menu, proxy handling, and I can say prefer proxies, disable all proxies, or prefer camera originals. And you literally just switch here. So I'm gonna say prefer camera originals, that switches to the original footage. And then if I go back to my playback, I can switch to proxies just like that. And it basically, as they're generated, they become replaced on my timeline. So really nice, simple way of working. And you can see the little icon here. If I switch that to camera originals, you see that changes to be the regular icon. So uh, look after yourselves and I'll see you in Vegas.